say good morning. She's playing with my ponytail. Good and here morning. comes Ezra. Good morning. We're just hanging out this morning. It's currently 7, 17 in the morning. And I know this one is going to want her nap early because we all got out of bed at like 5 this morning. So... She should be wanting to take a nap here soon. I'm actually going to be writing a letter to the boy that I'm sponsoring, but I can't do that until she lays down for a nap because I just know that she'll cry at my feet if I try to write the letter while she's awake. And I'm kind of behind because the letter is due Friday and it's Monday, and I still have to give the mail carriers time to, you know, get it to the school. So I got to write that whenever she lays down for a nap. I hope I don't forget because I'm seriously forgetful. <laughs> She keeps dropping my ponytail, and then Ezra gets it. <laughs> I'm gonna watch her. You're doing it on purpose. <laughs> Look, she's gonna do it again. I know it. She's oh, I gotta put it in the other hand. <laughs> You're so silly. Bexley laid down for her nap and as y'all seen I was writing this letter to the boy that I'm sponsoring. I wrote his letter and I'm so happy I got it finished because I don't know if y'all are like me but whenever I know that there's something that I need to do and it has to be done within a week or so I'll stress out about it until I get it done. Even though this is something that I enjoy doing just praying for this person that I've never even met in person. I just really enjoy it but until I actually get it written and all in the envelope and ready to go, I'm just like, oh my gosh, don't forget, you need to get this done because you don't want him to be the only student that doesn't get a letter. That's one of the things that really pushes me to do it because I don't want the day to come whenever they're like, okay, here's your letters, everybody, you can read them. And then I wouldn't want my pen pal person to not have a letter or something. So I really try to stay on top of it and make sure I write him a letter and I get it sent out in time so he has it on the day that everybody else gets theirs. So yeah, I'm glad I got that done. So while Bexley naps, I don't know what Ezra wants to do. What do you want to do while Bexley naps? Um, cars. Cars? What do you mean? You want to play with cars? No, cards. Cards? Yeah. Oh, you want to do your letter cards? Or do you want to do your number wall in your room? And cards. Are you sure you don't want to learn your numbers? I want to learn my, my, my cars and the number wall. Can you find the number 80? 80? Yeah. Where's the number 80? I'll give you a hint. It's orange. What? It has the number zero on it. This? Nope. This? Yeah. <laughs> See, it's 80. It has eight zero. Can you find the number 100? 100? No. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to bore y'all with me teaching him numbers, so I'm just going to stop this right now so we can finish learning. So, I was making my cup of coffee, right? I was adding the milk, and Ezra seen the milk, and he decided he wanted... A cup of milk and I was like okay put your cup on the counter and he brought it over here on the counter and it was still had like over half full of water and whenever he went to sit it down he dropped it and he got water all over the counter like these are two little hand towels and they're like drenched with water but the thing that stinks is that my letter that I just wrote that boy just got drenched so completely just lost the letter lost the stamp and the envelope. It was like a complete waste. So I'm hoping that the letter is like I can still read it even though it got all wet because I'm gonna copy exactly what I wrote in this letter and put it on a new letter. But I'm like so disappointed. I almost cried because it was ruined. Like I wish I could show y'all the front but it has my address on it. But it's just drenched like really. Like, 
And I was just thinking, should I really leave this on the counter? Like, what if it gets wet somehow? And I'm like, no, there's no way it can get wet. And literally right after I had those thoughts is whenever I went and made my cup of coffee and then he asked for a cup of milk. Literally, it happened within like a minute or two of the time that I would thought, hmm, should I leave this on the counter? So, it's just completely ruined. So, that stinks. Now, I'm going to have to rewrite it all that stuff that's just so annoying anyways i'm trying not to get upset about it i'm trying not to be like mad although it's very frustrating that this just literally got ruined but ugh, trying to put myself in a better mood so i'm gonna go over here and pour him his cup of milk that he wanted and i'm gonna drink my coffee like i wanted and hopefully it'll put me in a better mood bexley boo is awake from her nap and Ezra is napping on the couch, but he might wake up once she goes in the living room and starts playing with her toys because I already know she's probably going to stand up on the couch and try to grab his feet and stuff. Come on, let's go see if you can wake up Bubba. He'll probably be mad. He cannot stand getting woken up from a nap. He's like the hardest person ever to wake up from a nap. Okay, I'm going to sit her down and I'm going to show y'all what she does and what he does. Are you going to wake Bubba up? <laughs> He is out. Oh, she's like, oh, he's asleep. So I'm going to get this card that he won't let me play with. <laughs> she's been wanting to play with this card ever since Ezra got it out of the cabinet. But he never lets her play with it. <laughs> Are you happy with it? Oh, it's the little things, huh? Is it everything that you hoped? <laughs> You're so cute. I rewrote the letter and the only thing I left to do is put the stamp on it. Oh my goodness, if that one gets wet, I will seriously cry because I almost cried whenever the other one got wet. So I guess me and Bexley are just going to try to enjoy this time while Ezra's napping because normally he wakes up whenever she wakes up from her nap because He'll wake up to me talking or Bexley playing, but he is out. I'm talking like right beside him and he's not waking up. <laughs> Are you tired, Ezra? <laughs> Where are you going? I'm gonna get you. You trying to go in mommy and daddy's room? <laughs> you thought you could sneak off and I wouldn't see you. Oh, Boogie, you better come here. What are you wanting to do in Mommy and Daddy's room? Nobody's in here. You give me that sock. That's Daddy's. That's shoe. This stinky. You don't want to go back in the living room and play? <laughs> we have to go back in here. Shut the bedroom door because if we leave it open, she'll just crawl in there and mess with everything in our bedroom and the bathroom. Won't you, Boog? She's like, I don't know what you're talking about. So, we're about to have a special guest. Well, two special guests on the vlog. I'm not going to say who's coming over just yet, but y'all will see in just a second. Look who's here. Oh, <laughs> say hi. And Danielle in her bump. I feel huge. I feel like you can't see it when I'm sitting down though. It's like it disappears. <laughs> Turn it aside. <gasps> Isn't it cute? And this is Allison's shirt. <laughs> yeah. I, <laughs> I feel like I have like multiple maternity. Or not multiple. Maybe just like a couple maternity shirts. But they're yours that I got from you. Yeah, I didn't have a lot of maternity shirts. But we just, just pass them down. Did, did you have this one with Ezra or no? No, I bought that one on oh. Walmart.com. Okay, I was about to say, because if you had, then this lasted for a long time. <laughs> but anyways, I totally forgot to state while Danielle and Liam are here. I'm going to be watching Liam while Danielle goes to get her, what is it? Um, it's the like 3D, 4D ultrasound, because uh, I'm 28 weeks now, and they do like a free one at the doctor's office. So I'm excited. <laughs> and I'll show y'all whenever she gets back, but if y'all follow her on Instagram, y'all will see it there first. Probably, yeah. I, I should post on today, I don't know, but yeah, I'll show you guys the pictures when I get back.
kids have finally calmed down and they're sitting at the kitchen table eating a snack and Bexley's eating a snack on the floor and Daniel should be here any minute and Samuel gets off in oh he's off work now so he should be heading home and he'll probably get here right after Daniel or about the same time I'm not for sure so yeah I'm just chilling on the couch trying to take advantage of this little calm break I have even though they're trying to get into everything that's on the kitchen table. We have all kinds of candy and snacks. So it's just like, what are y'all doing? She has the cars? Well, well she can play with them too. Y'all can share. There's a lot of cars, Liam. Yeah. And y'all, please excuse that random mattress that was in Bexley's room. But since I'm currently in the process of trying to clean up her room and stuff i put it out in the hallway to get it out of the way and then i just never put it back in her room i really should put it back in her room though because it's just in the hallway for no good reason hey y'all it's that time again for the daily devotion but first off i just want to say sorry that i never ended the vlog yet i didn't vlog danielle whenever she came here to pick liam up we ended up hanging out for a while and i just didn't vlog so i'm just going to go ahead and get right into today's devotion grow strong in the light of my presence your weakness does not repel me. On the contrary, it attracts my power, which is always available to flow into a yielded heart. Do not condemn yourself for your constant need of help. Instead, come to me with your gaping neediness. Let the light of my love fill you. A yielded heart does not whine or rebel when the going gets rough. It musters the courage to thank me, even during hard times. Yielding yourself to my will is ultimately an act of trust. In quietness and trust is your strength. And the three scriptures that go with this are Psalms chapter 116, verse 5 through 7, Ephesians chapter 5, verse 20, and Isaiah chapter 30, verse 15. And that is all for today. I want to say thank you so much to everybody that took the time out of their day to watch our video. And if you're new to our channel, please don't forget to hit subscribe and to tap that bell so you're notified every time we even upload. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.